Welcome to the seventh video in the Getting Started with Analyst Notebook series. In this video, we'll look at the Arrange toolbar in the ribbon menu of Analyst Notebook. We will start by opening the Example 1 Finished chart. This can be found using the Example Materials shortcut. The location and installation of the Example Materials was covered in detail in the Getting Started Example Materials video, the fourth in this series. To begin with, we will look at the Align and Space section of the toolbar. Each option on this menu requires one or more items to be selected on the chart. Let's start by selecting the five entities across the top of the chart by clicking and dragging the mouse over them. By choosing the Align Horizontally tool, each of the selected items are moved so they are in a line horizontally on the chart. Note that this does not change the spacing between the items. We will now select the four items on the left of the chart and choose Align Vertically, which will move these selected items so they are in a vertical line. The Align to Grid tool moves the selected entities so they are positioned on the grid intersections. This feature works regardless of whether the grid is displayed or not, and can be helpful when manually laying out a chart to help maintain equal spacing. By using the Space Entities tool on the selected items, we can space out the entities so that they are all at an equal distance apart. The spacing can be either horizontally or vertically, depending on the chart layout required. We will now open the Example 2 Finish chart to look at the other two options in this menu. We will zoom in on a set of connections between two entities. We can see that each of the links between two entities is spaced a uniform distance from each other. The spacing is controlled by the Connections Link Spacing setting, which can be found in the Chart Properties menu on the right-click menu. If we change this value to say 0.15, this will only have an effect on the new links added to the chart. But by using the Compressed Connections tool, it can be applied to the selected connections between entities so that they are respaced based on the value of this setting. Now that the links are closer together, we can see that some of the labels are almost colliding with each other. If we select those links and use the Arrange Link Labels option, the labels will be spaced out to minimize the overlapping. Returning to the Example 1 finished chart, we will now look at the Center Background tool on the far right of the ribbon. If we paste an image into a chart, it will be placed in front of the existing chart items, which can make the chart difficult to select. By selecting it and using the Center Background tool, the image will be placed behind the chart and will not be selectable. As a background item, we can place chart items on top of it, with the chart items being easily selectable. In this example, we've used an image, but you can also put entities and links into the background too. To make the item selectable again, bringing them to the foreground, you can use the Foreground All option in the tool menu. The Group option groups the selected items and allows them to all be moved together without affecting their relative positions. This is useful for rearranging large sections of the chart. We are now going to take a look at the Network Layout section of the toolbar. We will open the Example 4 Finished chart to do this. Firstly, we'll apply the Peacock Layout to it. The Peacock Layout helps to identify highly connected entities by grouping the other entities it is connected to. The PCAT layout can be used to identify entities at the center of activity in high volume data, such as financial transactions or telephone data. The compact PCOT layout is very similar to the PCOT layout, but uses shorter links between the main areas of activity to produce a more compact chart. The organization chart layout is useful for charts that contain organizational structures and helps identify one or more key entities that control different areas. In this case, we can quickly see that one account is sending multiple transactions to multiple accounts that ultimately end up in a very small number of organizations. The grouped layout is most useful with large numbers of linked entities and helps to identify groups of interconnected entities and the relationships between them. The circular layout arranges items in a circular form with the most connected entities at the top and can help identifying discrete groups of interconnected entities. Minimize cross links rearranges all the entities and links so that a minimum number of links cross each other. 
It does this by moving all items on the chart and by adding corners to links where necessary to avoid intersections. It can help reveal connections that might be lost due to chart complexity. Let's now load the example 3 finish chart, which shows a theme line chart. Using the timeline layout section of the tool menu, we can control how each event is positioned on the theme line. Proportional spaces the events to emphasize the relative difference in elapsed time between events, with events which occurred at around the same time being spaced closely, while proportionally increasing the distance between more widely spaced events to emphasize the separation. The grouped by time option helps identify bursts of activity by grouping all events that occurred at a similar time. The ordered option spaces all events equally, regardless of time scale, to emphasize the order they occurred in. We will now return to our example 2 finished chart and transform it to a different structure so that we can look at a few more settings on the Arrange toolbar menu. To do this, we select everything on the chart and choose the Analyze toolbar menu, and then use the Copy to New Timeline Chart tool. This restructures the chart to a timeline. It can do this because each link has a date and time property applied to it. Back on the Arrange menu, clicking Theme Line will equally space each theme line to help improve the clarity of the chart. The Grouped Theme Line option clusters the chart into groups of highly connected theme lines, with the most highly connected in the middle of the chart. Each of the layouts in the Arrange toolbar can be customized from the Layout Setup toolbar menu. For example, how to group items in the Group by Time layout, or the separation to be used for the Peacock layout. You can experiment with these settings to help improve the legibility and clarity of the chart. So in conclusion, we've taken a look at the Arrange toolbar menu and how it can be used to arrange your charts to improve clarity and to reveal analytical insight. Please watch out for the next video in the series, and thanks very much for watching.